Hello everybody, welcome, welcome back to a brand new video. Happy New Year and welcome to my first video of the year. I'm so excited to be blessed to be here for Capricorn season. It's my season. I'm turning 47 very, very soon. This is crazy. I say this every year, but I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all of you who have supported me in this journey. I've been on YouTube for many, many years. I'm I'm hoping to reach 50,000 subscribers very soon, but I wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't for you. So thank you so, so much for riding this wave with me. So as you can see from the title today, we are going to talk about things that you need to stop doing right now so you can be the better version possible of yourself in 2024 and moving forward. I think it's a great way to start the year because I want you to leave all of the negative things that I'm going to talk about today in 2023 and come back more empowered, more amazing than you were last year. So let's get started. So the first thing that you need to stop doing in 2024 and leave it in 2023 is buying fast fashion. But hold on, don't come for me in the comments. Let me clarify what I believe is fast fashion because I'm not going to be bashing any brands on this video. Fast fashion for me is when you buy one thing that you think you're going to wear, but within a couple of months, it's in the back of your wardrobe because you're not going to wear it and you keep doing this as a cycle. It's not only about bad fabrics, which I'm going to talk about. It's about things that you're actually not wearing. So it becomes fast fashion in your own personal drone because you don't wear it. You get rid of it really quickly. You get bored. It was the wrong thing. You bought it for your fantasy self. This for me is fast fashion. It's when you don't love the piece. It's when you don't wear it at all. Try and stop doing this. Try to look for things that you're actually going to love, that you're going to wear and rewear and rewear. This is why I wanted to clarify what I believe it's fast fashion. Just stop buying things that you don't love, that you don't wear, that you only bought for a particular occasion. Stop doing it right now. Number two on the list, stop buying the wrong fabrics. And I'm going to name at least two that I think are horrendous to have in your wardrobe. Number one is polyester. Number two is acrylic. These are terrible fabrics. At least when you buy them a hundred percent of this particular fabric. They're not good for the environment because they're plastic. They don't keep you cool in the summer. They don't keep you warm in the winter. They're just not good for you or for the environment. I can give you a couple of suggestions that you should be buying instead of these. You could buy cotton, which is super affordable. You could buy linen and you could buy merino wool. These three fabrics will replace those in no time. Stop buying the wrong fabrics. They don't look as good as the other three fabrics I've just mentioned. And there's other fabrics which are a little bit more premium, like silk cashmere, but you can also buy at an affordable price, especially if you keep an eye out in the sales, or for example, you go to certain high street stores that sell a blend of these fabrics, you can get what you need for much better price points and not bad fabrics. So stop buying them. Number three on the list and trigger warning, this could be triggering for some, but I promise you it comes from the best place possible because I've gone through this and that is not accepting the actual body size that you are. This is one of your biggest mistakes. When you go shopping, buy what fits you properly. It could be from a bra to a coat to a dress, buy what fits you properly. There's nothing more terrible than buying the wrong size. It damages your look in a sense that if it's the wrong bra, it shows that it's the wrong bra. If it's the wrong dress, it shows everything. If it's the wrong trousers, it just emphasizes the flaws that you don't want people to see. Not everybody has the perfect body. I don't have the perfect body. My God, I am far from being perfect. I have cellulite. I have stretch marks. I have a mummy pouch. I have all of it, but I'm okay with those. Stop not accepting the size that you are. You're beautiful. Number four on the list is impulsive buying. Now, impulsive buying, in my opinion, is like going on a blind date. Sometimes it works, but more often than not, it doesn't. So I have to apply this rule to myself and leave it in 2023. I do it every year, at least once or twice a year. I'll go out thinking I don't want to shop and all of a sudden I see a store and I go like, I need that right now. 
now when I don't actually need it. I want it. That is a huge, huge difference. Now, impulsive buying, like I said, it's not always bad, but the majority of the time you end up buying things that you don't actually need and you're not going to wear them. And then one day you'll be like, oh, I still have the tag on it. I need to now sell it to someone else or give it to charity. However, you're just wasting money. Try to make a list of things that you need, that you're possibly thinking of getting. Create outfits in your head so that you don't go out blindly and shopping for things that you actually do not need. So stop doing it. And last but not least on this list, I feel like this one is going to touch a lot of you. It has touched me in the past. And that is thinking that you are less than. And what do I mean by that? Is thinking that you are less than the person next to you. Maybe because in your eyes, that person is perfect. That person looks, I don't know, out of this world. Never, ever do that. Do not compare yourself to others. You are unique in your own way. The way we see ourselves, our reflection in the mirror is not the same way other people see us. What you think is a flaw for you, it's not going to be a flaw for somebody else. Stop comparing yourself to the model on Instagram. I used to do it when I was younger and I feel like it's a process of learning, but I don't compare myself to others. I feel like I have something to offer to many other people. And I feel like I also learn by looking at other people. I take inspiration, but I don't compare myself to others. That is the wrong thing to do because we all come in different sizes. We all have different styles, tastes, and what we find beautiful or what we may consider ugly, somebody else is going to consider it complete opposite. And that is totally okay. Comparing yourself to others will just bring you down. Try not to do that unless it's in a positive way. Like you're comparing, for example, your hair texture to mine saying, oh, I have similar hair texture to you, Vilma. Maybe your hairstyle or the way you style your hair could look good on me. That's okay. But don't think you're less than because you're all beautiful. You're all beautiful in your own way. So stop comparing and just look at yourself in a mirror and say some affirmations which are super positive to make you move forward in 2024. No more comparing to other people. Okay, so we've reached at the end of another video. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any recommendations of future videos similar to this one that you would like to see more topics for us to talk about. I love interacting with you guys. And again, a huge thank you to all of you who are supporting my channel for all of this time, or even if you just subscribe today, it means the world to me. Thank you so much for joining me on another video and I'll see you next week. Bye.